Oh, you taught me that spell. Hey. She's devastated. She just buried your uncle alone. I did it for her. Sebastian, Anne can't bear the thought of turning you in, but... What? Turn me in? She saw what happened. I'll give you some time to think, Sebastian. Turn me in. Yeah, turn Sebastian, you in. did you hear that? You saw what happened. I never wanted to hurt my uncle. I know. I can't believe he's gone. How did things go so wrong? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to... Oh, Anne, I was only trying to help. I can't leave now. Anne needs me more than ever. You understand. You can talk to Ominous. Make him understand. He listens to you. I need to be with Anne. Don't worry, Sebastian. I shall speak with Ominous. Thank you. You're a good friend, truly. No matter the what happens from wizard. here, I'm glad we met. All right. Um. Where is it? Where is it? Ominous. <coughs> what a mess. I can't believe it. After I last saw you, I went straight to Hogwarts. Before I had time to talk to Black, I heard from Anne. I rushed to Felcroft and found her with Solomon's body. She was beside herself with grief. Part of her wants Sebastian to face the consequences, another part can't bear the thought of it. I don't want to lose Sebastian, but I don't think we have a choice. I think I'm not going to. We do have a choice. What good will it do to turn him in now? He clearly regrets everything. He's not going to do anything like this again. We've both heard that before. But we also need to think about Anne. She's lost her health. Now she's lost her uncle. Do you really want to take her brother away from her too? I, I understand what you're saying. Perhaps you're right. As much as I believe that Sebastian should pay for his actions, we'd only be punishing Anne as well. I hope we're doing the right thing. I'll talk to Anne. If it comes from me, she'll agree with this decision. Thank you, Ominous. You're a good friend. Whatever yeah. lies ahead, we must face it together. That I know. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Do this mission. You made it. What is it? At least we're out of the classroom. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive, especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Uh, I would not want to find out. <laughs> My eyes, I thank you very much. The Moonstone Bar. You don't think the rumors about the cave <coughs> are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Stay here. Rebellion. Oh, come on. I bet. Oh, wait. Bombarder. 
here. Uh, it's another aggressive one. Well, damn, bro. How are you feeling? Oh, but he better watch what he getting. Getting me on with you. Alright, um, I gotta go through that door. Oh, shit. Bombarder. It's like a, is there a butterfly? Rebellion. There's that. Rebellion. Trying to see if there's like a uh, oh right here. Shit. Hopefully it's something better. Also, hold up. Before I continue, let me make sure that my chat, my. Okay, it's good. your pardon this must be how the rumor about the cave started the Fuipa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad oops oh, right if the moon stone is here and so accomplished i wonder if it's being protected it probably is why be surprised? Am I not surprised? First the Fuipas and now this. Okay. We need to find moths for those spinners. Oh, I, I won. Oh, damn. Okay, I unlocked the wrong thing. So, what about this? Boom. Boom. There it is. Lumos. No matter. Hello, I'm sure we can work out a way across. Where I go? Which one's for that chest? I don't think. Which one's for that chest? Oh, they did it already open. No, I didn't already open. So that one, and then there you go. Got it. I just wanted to get that before I left. I continue. You still streaming? I just woke up. Oh shit! Back in. All right. Here. Yeah, I'm still streaming. So we have to wait. So do we have to take the ones from those and put it on here now? Would that door shut? If I do that. Actually, no, I'll do the door shit. Lumos. Lumos. Door shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, I see what I gotta do. Merlin, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, okay, so this one I can just take. Okay, it's say It's gonna say. And this one I don't need anymore. There we go. You did it. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this. Places. Who brings them? Alright. There we go. Good for you. Rebellion. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, maybe we just gotta go around that way. Yeah, probably gotta go around that way. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Why, of course. I don't need that. I got plenty of those. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Rebellion. Couldn't break up. Ah, oh, I could just do that. Given what swoopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. This is very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss any plants. We found it! I see you right there. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. Talk to her. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? Shall we? There. we shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Place the Moonstone over... How's your gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. Stone goes. 
was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran I've managed to see not one, but two moon calf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... Okay. I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Oh, well, I would have never thought that. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. So many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, so I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Okay. Let me collect that. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. All right, well, that's cool with Agreed. me. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. That's cool with me. Level one up, we level one up.
Oh my god, it'd be so close to leveling up, bro. Go ahead, get to it. I hope Professor Fig got my own. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the ally here. received, getting closer Ranrock to the end of the game too. quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragfall's journals. He killed Lodgot to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Okay. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. All right, bet. How nice to see you, my young. You're here. Do it. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the keepers for information. Maybe Rebellion. Too. All right, so we gotta look for it. That whole thing. What? There you go. Is that a? It is. I believe I know what must be done. Hmm. Yeah. This is where we get the mount. Okay. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grab horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of the grap horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a grap horn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favor. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. All right, if that's what we'll must try. be done, do I'll it. do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. All right, go ahead and, uh, what the hell? Wait, how far away? God damn. Well, at least I got something close to it, sheesh.
something close to that. I'm a brewing and I'm without my friends. Sorry about that. Go ahead and get this mount. And I got the last boom upgrade to this shit. Yes. Right there. This must be the place. What do you have in store for me this time? That's some big ass bones. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Okay, so mainly the uh, the main attackers are the ones that work on him. use any like unforgivable curses on her because I'm not trying to kill him yeah only the attack spells the red spells work oh god damn boy. spells work like those spells will not work I'm trying to switch to my like, different sets so that way I can fucking uh, attack it Like I said, nail or attack. Why the hell would I attack it? I'm not trying to kill it. Oh, it's not. There it is. E. Thing got a lot of health. Power charge attack. Okay. Bad. Slow down now. There we go. 
Oh, you gotta hold that jar. Okay. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. No need to race now, my friend. Slow down now. There we go. Oh, like I said, ah! I thought that was his health door. That's his stamina. I was like, what the hell? Oh, like, he got a lot of health. And I'm like, oh, wait, really? stamina. We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. Protection! Oh, yeah, this is out the way. Her ass is out the way. Time for you all to clear out. That drum breaks right through uh barriers. Sheesh. Got him back here. There it is. I'm pretty sure I get off of it. Pretty sure this is where I get off. <laughs> we just had to do like a, just a little taming the beast boss fight. Oh, Professor Alcom was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Hey, right, good sir. This probably was the easiest one out of all of them, though. For real. It's definitely. Let me make sure I have. Got any chests over here? Or anything? Before I. There's always be at least one chest around here somewhere. Damn, y'all ain't got a chest this time? Alright, let me go. Yeah, this was, this had to be the easiest one. All the other ones, you had to go through trial and tribulation. Hello? Is it Ora? Is it Ora? the hell son I'm glad you're here Isadora was not at her home I know her father 
First of all, what is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Nebo's right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. you to return to your common room, all right? What have you done? Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? We won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora. Set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! Oh, shit. Let me guess, she gonna come back to life and she gonna be the final boss? Alright, let's go ahead and get the hell of one out of here. Crazy. Took the uh, that's what I was saying. It was more than just pain. She took their pain, emotions. And they took their soul pretty much. The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us, to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, 
I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will... Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Traveling with... And I leveled up, yes, sir. 